Oh, hey, it's your boy here, the Overseer PC, and this is the most popular RTX card in the Steam surveys, the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte card. Now, it's 2024. Now, obviously, this is an already old card, probably about three years old next month. Let's see if this is actually a good deal or this is something that is viable for 2024. We're going to run this in our competitive games, which are these guys right here. And as always, because you're watching the Overseer PC channel, we're going to compare this with the latest RTX 60 series card, which is the RTX 4060. Now, oh, this one has 12 yeah. gigabyte of VRAM. That one is a god thing. Is this actually worth considering the RTX 3060? All right, let's go. Before we start, let's have a look at our RTX 3060 card. We are using the base model here from EVGA, the RTX 3060 XC. No overclocking here, just the standard 12 gigabyte card coupled with bare bone stock performance. Take note, this is a 12 gigabyte version, which is the true RTX 3060. The 8 gigabyte version is actually a much weaker card. As always, we are putting this into our Ryzen 5800X3D system. For our comparison card, we are using our resident ASUS RTX 4060 Dual 8GB OC card. We are using competitive settings here to reflect real-world performance. And for our benchmarks, we have run the game benchmarks at least three times before we started recording with our external PC to ensure that there are no discrepancies. Latest drivers and windows have been used at the time of recording. Okay. Let's start with our first game. Warzone. Okay, first things first, let's run a side-by-side -side comparison between 1080p and 1440p with quality DLCs on our RTX 3060. One thing you'll notice is that our 1080p gameplay is much more stable on its frame times and is able to achieve a much higher FPS despite the 1440p with quality deals is, is running from a lower base resolution. On firing shots, however, we still see the same pattern with the 1080p gameplay retaining that lead. When we compare the RTX 3060 to its newer counterpart, the 4060, you will notice that although the 4060 has better FPS and power consumption, the older RTX 3060 is definitely much more stable on its frame times and you can even see that here on our firing scene. Comparing both cards running on 1440p with DLSS and although our RTX 3060 does have those micro stutters, it is much worse for the RTX 4060 and this is probably because it's limited by its memory bus. When we move to actual gameplay, the RTX 3060 at 1080p is actually pretty good. We have an average FPS of around 140 and lows at around 100. So obviously we are GPU bottleneck here with power consumption still at around 140 watts. There's still some stutters here and there, but this is actually tolerable. I think Warzone has started to become more stable now, although there are some scenarios where I still get those frame time spikes and you just need to restart the game. And before we proceed boys, if you're interested on in seeing more of our in-depth hardware testings, make sure you subscribe to the channel. These competitive shooters tend to change performance very often, especially on major game patches. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Apex Legends. Let's start off by comparing our RTX 3060 against the newer 4060. And you can see that the RTX 4060 does perform slightly better on heavy action scenes like this one. And this is the same scenario when we are on static scenes. We can see that the RTX 4060 performs once again slightly better, although both guys still has those micro stutters on our 0.1% lows, which is pretty negligible. This doesn't change very much from our firing scenes. It still favors the newer card, including 30% lower in terms of power consumption and obviously better thermals as well. And that's almost 17 degrees difference in here, although we have different models, but yeah, that's still significant. On actual gameplay, we are achieving pretty decent FPS FPS here with our RTX 3060 at 1080p. Not amazing, okay? But it's alright. We're still getting 200 plus FPS on scenes without any actions with 1% lows at around 140. 
and this is pretty stable i mean this game is pretty good and we can still hit our shots and can Bruh. definitely move around trying to evade without any noticeable status i'm still pretty happy with this one we do have room to grow if so if you're thinking of upgrading but hey the rtx 3060 is still decent okay let's move on to everyone's favorite building game Fortnite and let's just roll this through all three APIs with the RTX 3060 performance mode DX11 and DX12 overall we are still getting a better average FPS and 1% lows with performance mode although our 0.1% lows are pretty terrible look at that one now, DX11 is middle of the pack here while DX12 has the lowest FPS but we have tighter values overall i think we'll still have to go with performance mode on this one and before we proceed let's just quickly run through all apis here against the rtx 4060 first up performance mode and you can see it favors the rtx 4060 by a slight margin and once again the rtx 4060 has lower power consumption compared to our older rtx 3060 the dx11 and once again favors the 4060 and look at how tighter the lows are with the rtx 4060 right here gpu power difference has widened a little bit in here on dx12 it's basically the same thing the 4060 still retains a much bigger lead compared to the older rtx 3060 and power consumption still favors the newer card although it's not as bad compared to running dx11 all right enough of all that let's move on to actual gameplay performance mode is pretty awful at the start of the game there's a few status in here but after a few rounds it does become stable in this run we are getting an average of 400 plus fps with lows at around 140 now we are not gpu bound here however we do get those random frame time spikes but that is normal in fortnite it's actually not that bad i mean on most occasions your frame times will be stable apart from when those things happen overall the rtx 3060 12 gigabyte card is still a pretty decent option and is completely viable for fortnite okay let's move on to the next one valorant and once again we are comparing our 1080p and 1440p gaming performance with rtx 3060 we are getting pretty consistent results with our previous testings on 1080p we get pretty much better results compared to 1440p as it becomes more gpu bound however when we get into heavy action scenes we actually get better 0.1 percent lows and stability with our 1440p resolution one percent lows do go to the 1080p gameplay but there's a big difference between the 0.1% lows so for the gameplay we'll probably just stick with 1440p for now at 500 fps that we are already getting pretty low frame times anyway what we'd want is better stability and for those who are new to our channel we are not enabling 1% or 0.1% lows when we're doing actual gameplay for Valorant and this is because there are multiple scene changes like the buy screen or Omen's shadow ability which will affect all of of this metrics at the start of the game you would notice that there are some frame time spikes here but this is normal for valorant it does get stable however in the next few rounds now we are getting pretty solid fps here at, at around 500 and vram is just utilized at around 5 gigabytes with gp power at around 150 watts now this is a pretty solid experience boys that's pretty good with valorant so that's fine next game is pubg and once Again, we are running the Living Enhanced API here at 1080p competitive settings that we would want to run as much higher resolution in here but we are already bottleneck at 1080p by our graphics card so let's start by having a side-by-side -side comparison between the RTX 3060 and the RTX 4060 and once again we can see there's a huge lead here in favor of the RTX 4060 and because this is a DX11 title our GP power is pushing more watts here the rtx 3060 is at 160 watts while it's only around 110 watts for the rtx 4060 on heavy action scenes the same trend continues we are getting an overall 
higher FPS from the RTX 4060. That's about 30 or 40 FPS difference across the board. In game, we are getting pretty high FPS exceeding 200 with lows at around 150. There are still some random frame time spikes here and there, but this is expected with this DX11 game. One thing to note is that we do have higher temperature once again with our base EVGA card. And look at that, it's pushing 2500 RPM already on our fan. But despite being heavily GPU public here, playing this at 4040p with the RTX 3060 still yields pretty good experience. Our final game is the finals. Get it? Anyway, let's start off by comparing the native 1080p with DAAU versus 1440p with DLSS. Significant difference here in favor for the 1080p resolution and look at that. There's even a 3 degrees difference in terms of thermals between the two modes. FPS is pretty high for our running shots. However, when we move over to heavy action scenes, the frame times becomes more unstable. FPS does drop for both resolutions but the 14 40p with the LCS one is much more effective and we are seeing like double digits now on our lows compared to like a bit higher on the 1080p. When compared to the RTX 4060 and once again we are getting much better FPS on our RTX 4060 on running shots. On heavy action scenes the lead still remains in favor for the RTX 460. In terms of 4040p with DLCs, basically just don't bother with this one. On actual gameplay scenarios, our FPS is actually okay. It could definitely be better, but this is still okay. Right? There are some micro stutters here and there as you run around, and this is tolerable. Okay? Average FPS is at 160 ish but lows are double digits similar to our benchmark run we are seeing a much higher power consumption in game amounting to 160 watts gameplay is decent it's playable and you may need to do an upgrade if you want to get better lows later in the future however in saying that the rtx 3060 is generally fine on this guy after almost 3 years, the RTX 3060 is still fighting strong in our competitive games. You can still push this through for maybe one more generation of competitive gaming before considering upgrading. Speaking of upgrading, we previously tested the RTX 3070 which is a much beefier card compared to this one. Its known limitations are it only has 8GB of VRAM and does come with a much higher power consumption. So if you're looking into upgrading to a used RTX 3070 in 2024, click this video right here and we'll see yeah. you again.